So this video is going to be all about Hess's law and how we can calculate the enthalpy change of a reaction using it. So consider this reaction. Nitrogen gas reacts with hydrogen gas to produce ammonia. And the enthalpy change for that reaction is going to be negative 92 kilojoules. And then we have another reaction, water decomposes to hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. And the enthalpy change for that is going to be positive 286 kilojoules. So using those two reactions, how can we calculate the enthalpy change of this reaction? Ammonia reacting with oxygen gas producing nitrogen gas and water. So Hess's law states that we can use these reactions, adjust them in such a way to get the enthalpy change of this reaction. But how do we go about doing it? So here's what we need to do. We need to adjust these two reactions in such a way that when we add them, we get this reaction. And then we need to adjust these values accordingly. And when we add those numbers, we're going to get the enthalpy change for this reaction. And that's how we're going to do it. So we need to focus on the right stuff. So in reaction 1 and 2, you want to focus on the reactants and products that appear only once in those two reactions. For example, Nitrogen gas is only found in equation 1, not in equation 2, so you want to focus on N2. Hydrogen gas, it's found in both of these two equations, so you do not want to focus on H2. If you do, it's, you're going to make your life a lot harder. So notice that nitrogen gas is on the left side, but we want it to be on the right side, and we need a coefficient of 2 in front of it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to reverse this reaction and multiply it by 2. Whenever you reverse a reaction, you've got to change the sign. And if you multiply this reaction by 2, you need to multiply the enthalpy change by 2. So I'm going to have 4 NH3. So this is now going to be on the other side. And if you multiply 2 NH3 by 2, you should get 4 NH3. And this is going to yield 2 N2 plus... 3 times 2 is 6, so that's going to be 6H2. And the enthalpy change is going to be positive 184 kilojoules. That's 92 times 2. Now let's focus on this equation. Should we focus on water, H2, or oxygen? You can focus on water or oxygen, but you don't want to focus on H2 because it's found in these two equations. So I'm going to focus on H2O. Notice that in the net reaction, we have six water molecules on the right side. Here we only have one on the left. So we need to reverse it and multiply it by six. So six times that is going to be 6H2. And then six times a half O2, that's going to be 3O2. And that's going to produce six water molecules. So we've got to change the sign. It's going to be negative 286. And then we're going to multiply it by 6. So that's going to be negative 1716 kilojoules. So now let's add the two reactions. And we need to make sure that we get the net reaction. So we have 4NH3 on the left. That's to the left of this arrow. So let's rewrite it here, 4NH3. And notice that the 6H2 molecules, they cancel because they're the same on both sides. On the left, we have 3O2. That's left of that arrow. And then on the right side, we have 2N2 and 6H2O. Which is the same as what we have here. Now, since we add equation 1 and 2 to get this reaction... To calculate the enthalpy change of that reaction according to Hess's law, 
we just need to add these values. So it's 184 plus negative 1716. So the answer is going to be negative 1532 kilojoules. And so that's how you can use Hess's law to calculate the enthalpy change of a reaction, if you know the enthalpy changes of other reactions. Here's another example. Let's say that water decomposes into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. And let's say that that process requires positive 576 kilojoules of energy. And then oxygen breaks down into atomic oxygen with an input of positive 495 kilojoules. So with this information, use Hess's law to determine the enthalpy change of this reaction. Hydrogen gas plus atomic oxygen producing liquid water. So feel free to pause the video as you try that example. So what's the first thing that we need to do in this example? It's best to identify which species to focus on. I'm going to focus on hydrogen gas. Notice that we have two of it on the right side, but we need one of it on the left. So we've got to multiply the first reaction by a half, and we need to reverse it. So once we reverse it, it's going to be H2, and you got to divide it by 2. So it's H2 plus 1 half O2, producing one water molecule. Now I need to make one small correction. That should be a 2 and not a 6. Now we need to change the sign and we have to divide that number by 2. 572 divided by 2 is 286. So this is going to be negative 286 kilojoules. Now notice that we have one oxygen atom on the left side and here we have two on the right side. So we need to reverse that reaction and divide it by 2 as well. So it's going to be O turning into 1 half O2. So it's going to be negative 495 divided by 2, which is 247.5 kilojoules. So now let's add the two reactions. So these two numbers will, those two things will cancel. So it's going to be H2 plus O turns into a liquid water. So negative 286 plus negative 247.5 is negative 533.5 kilojoules. And so this is the answer. Now let's consider one more example. So we're going to have two ozone molecules decomposing into three oxygen gas molecules. And the energy for that is going to be negative 427 kilojoules. I'm going to have to write small because there's going to be more reactions in this one than the last one. Now, in the next one, oxygen gas decomposes into atomic oxygen. And so the energy change for that is positive 495 kilojoules. And then finally, we have nitrogen monoxide reacting with ozone to produce nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen gas. And so this is going to be negative 199 kilojoules. So with this information, go ahead and determine the enthalpy change of this reaction. Nitrogen monoxide plus atomic oxygen turn it into nitrogen dioxide. So go ahead and try it. So let's call this equation 1. 2, and 3. So what should we focus on? 
I'm going to focus on equation 3. So notice that I have nitrogen monoxide on the appropriate side. I don't have to change it. So I'm going to rewrite equation 3. And so the energy change is going to remain negative 199 kilojoules. Now notice that NO2 is already in the appropriate side. So the next thing I need to focus on is atomic oxygen, which is only found in equation 2. So I need it to be on the left side. So I have to reverse this reaction and multiply by a half. So this is going to be O turning into 1 half O2. And so this is going to be negative 495 divided by 2. We said it was 247.5. Now notice that ozone and O2, they're found in other reactions. O2 is found in equations 2 and 3, and ozone is only found in 1 and 3. So I'm going to focus on ozone. Now, because ozone is not in the net reaction, that means I need it to cancel completely. So in this reaction, I have one ozone molecule on the left side. If I want that to cancel, I need to have one ozone molecule on the right side. So I've already used equation 3, so I'm going to focus on equation 1. Keep in mind, this is equation 3, and this one is 2. So in order to get one ozone molecule on the right, I need to reverse that reaction and multiply by half. So on the left, I'm going to have 3 over 2, O2. And it's going to change from negative to positive. And then I need to divide 427 by 2, which is 213.5 kilojoules. So now let's add the reactions. So ozone will cancel. Now, on the right side, we have one oxygen gas molecule plus a half, so that's 1.5. On the left side, we have 3 over 2, which is 1.5. So therefore, this cancels with these two on the right. So what we have left over is NO plus O turns into NO2. So since these three reactions add up to the net reaction, the enthalpy change of the net reaction is the sum of the enthalpy changes of those three reactions. So it's going to be negative 199 plus negative 247.5 plus 213.5. So that's negative 233 kilojoules. So that's the energy change for this reaction. So that's how you can use Hess's law to calculate the enthalpy change of a reaction using the enthalpy changes from other reactions that are provided.